Hello again guys and welcome to another video of Legion TD and uh, for today we're playing, playing the standard mode BRC63 for my first crawl I'm going to get a spirit so I'm going to be very strong against the first 3 levels of the and place temporarily here bottom feeder now, I generally don't like bottom feeders but it can be it can be a decent time for the first few rounds. Instead, I think I will um, I will go for the frost wolves, as they are generally much stronger than the bottom feeder for rounds one, two, three. I'll get two of them. Those are easy enough to tank. The next round, probably not enough against two. But I'll go for them. And CC. Checking on my allies, they went for Soul Heroes. So for me personally, I wouldn't go for Soul Hero, although they're very strong for one. Uh, for rounds 2 and 3, since those rounds deal normal damage, <coughs> these are gonna fall quickly. So I would have gotten just at least one Soul Hero instead. This guy is getting Gate Guards, although. If it were me, I would have gotten more. This guy is doing very, very okay with uh, a Lord of Death and Skeletors. Okay, for our low next round, we're gonna get Violets. These are the strong. There's a Disciple, but as a general rule, I really don't like getting Auras early on unless it's a slow Aura. Then I might consider getting some. As uh, they are quite expensive and they don't affect a lot of units yet. So let's wait till we get to the later rounds before we start getting more. Okay, seemingly everyone's doing fine. If this guy over um, over lumbers, he might struggle for rounds two and three. But it looks fine. Uh, before suggesting, I guess it's best for us to check enemy units first. Let's see what they got. Okay. Go five. Um, as you have seen in my previous videos, I always do say that the Bigfoot is very weak on level five. So I would. Hmm. So this round is kind of tricky because I want to CC but I think this is just the best that we can do with Violets. Will we be able to CC in the next round? We, ha we do have a lot of normal armor so I'm kind of conscious but let's go for it. If we CC it's not going to be too much. He got an aura and he has a lot of soul hero. I don't think uh, he sees it this round, which is a good call for him. Otherwise, there's a big risk of him leaking a lot. Let's see, he didn't, right? Yep, he did it. This guy's gonna be fine. Sculptor's decent tank and graded to Hades. I'm at level 3. Let's keep going, Lumber. Now, this guy is having quite a bit of luck because he does have Phantom and he's going to have a Disciple for the next round. Lucky next. Go, Pink. Let's see how our units are doing. Yes, as I expected. We even though even if we have even though we have normal armor, we do clear the creeps very quickly, so they wouldn't have the chance to attack our units. Now I think we are strong enough. I think we're strong enough to go for a CC next round, having four Ashanases for it, so let's go for it. I think I'm gonna place them a little bit at the back here, because I want my Geomancers, my Clockworks to deal damage, or to, to use their spell more than, more than once. <clears throat> and I'm going to challenge the next round, although I'm gonna do it last second so that my Allies are not going to imitate only one CC for this round. I'm confident that I can hold against it even with Send because of my Ultramasis which deal normal damage against armor. 
for the next round, we are going to get Acolytes and a Gyrocopter. I generally like this aura and we do have a lot of range units already. So it's a clear goal for us to, to get an aura and it's the least expensive aura as well for, with only 125 gold and 130 gold. So we'll be fine. Everyone looks fine as well. Everyone's slumbering up well. We should have a decent scent for five. Okay, let's check the ability units. They, they still look they still look weak against they still look weak against five. Okay. What are my guys CC'd? I think it's okay. I don't feel like the enemies are going to send this out. If they will, it's not gonna be strongest. And he does have a Royal Griffin, so we should be fine. As for us, we are kind of high lumber. I honestly don't trust myself to survive the CC, but I, I think I'm still gonna go for it. If we leak, we will have an Atcher, which is going to be this guy. So let's go for it. I don't see any reason not to. And let's hope, yeah, as uh, this is I expected, they're not going to send. I am kind of hesitating about sending the next round, however, because of how much archers they have gotten. Not only archers, but also what else did they have? The, the rangers as well as the phantoms. <clears throat> what else did they have? Okay, we are going to be fine. For sure we are with three O'Shaughnessy's leaving living, I should say. Yeah, so love works too. Okay. And they sent there we would have so surprisingly this guy leaks, although he was I was kind of banking on him to patch for us if ever Green and I really are gonna leak this well. Let's keep getting they look very strong, <clears throat> they look very strong, but after this round, we are going for 5 on next. It looks like we still haven't gotten permit. we're gonna get that. I'm not worried about their send, as they look like they have overbuilt themselves. That I'm gonna go for advanced lumber instead since we have quite a bit of extra gold and we will still have enough to get a hermit for our team. Are they sending archers? That's generally a bad idea, but at this point, I don't want to blame. And it can work, who knows it can work. There, that's a reminder for our guys to send. It's not gonna be big, big send. But it allowed us to have a great income to survive the sin. So for this round, I think I can survive with two the Mavericks that I built, which also has medium armor. It receives only 80% damage from magic. How else is everyone doing? This guy has a Griffin, which clears quite quickly. Our... Okay, so... The... What do you call this? The Hellraiser's guy did clear and he didn't up so much in lumber, which is good. We leaked more than our enemies. That's bad, but at least it can be killed. At least we can one shockwave all the incoming enemy units not yet not yet here you go let's go 
objective are up, I don't think. Enemies were able to clear with the mass phantoms. It's fine, again, he might be big. And we're not worried about it because it's very weak against... It's going to be very weak against 10. So our objective now, since we are down a heal, we are at this disadvantage, is to um, hold off on their next sense <coughs> and get the game to 10. Gonna kill off the one shot creeps first. I place the hotkey on my. What is that building on my town hall? Can you call it town hall? Okay. So for this round, I, I guess it's safe for us to. You see, I think I lead that round for not having. For not having. A unit with a big health. So for this round, I think I'm gonna get this. And. I got one more of this. I'm going to get these guys. Okay, this is enough for us to CC. And I'm sure the enemies are not going to send this down. <clears throat> For this round, I don't think I am going to lumber up. I think I'll save some gold for the half lead here. And I need to place a couple of skeletons. And I also have a lot of units upgraded yet. Like the flying machine as well as the uh, as well as the other deadly yeah, druid. Still haven't been upgraded, so I'm gonna do those for the next round. Looks like we're struggling a bit for this round. We are going to clear mostly, but I don't think we will be able to fully champion. <clears throat> Let's see here. Okay, I think we had just enough value to survive against it. Now there's still a good chance for the enemies to send here. So let's build our best set of units against it. Okay, Goliath definitely getting these. Hmm. I want to upgrade this one, but at the same time I want to get bone warriors. Maybe I'm going to skip out because there is a higher chance that they will send 10 and the bone archers are very strong against it. <clears throat> Let's hope that even if the enemies will send here, it will be only around 3k value and so we will be able to hold it. We'll see, we'll see. All of us have 4k value, which is good. Looking quite strong. Although we are some, somewhat suffering on lumber. <clears throat> press the attack there to keep the enemies away from the green area. We're up. I'm going to invite my <clears throat> allies to lumber up because I think we will use most of our lumber for helping and so we need to we need to kind of try to compensate and get more lumber from the leaves. Okay, surprisingly it's Orange who shall be holding this round. Uh, 5 HP each. Okay, through the first wave there. It's high, like, highly likely that we are going to lose another heal here. Which put us, puts us in a very bad place for 10. 
Apparently, I'm still not worried, however. <clears throat> uh, some of our guys have been holding their sense, and so it can raise their value so much so that we will be able to hold against them. Okay. And I have been blessed with cults, which I will get. Okay, definitely at least four of it, I think, would be very strong. Now I need to up my units. I am going to upgrade my cults this round instead of the Bone Warriors, because the Bone Warriors do have... They do have medium armor. And so, I would leave them for tanks instead of the cult, which has light armor. <clears throat> and for that reason, I think they're weaker for this round. With our value, I think it's enough for us to challenge this round. <clears throat> okay, I'm sure that enemies are not going to send here. So let's press the attack here for the next round. We need some tanks definitely. <clears throat> we need to place a couple tanks. It's tempting to get the auras here. But um, but I don't think okay, I might get the troll aura. I might get both ones. I might get both auras. Because uh the troll, uh, the other troll, the ice troll is good against ten, it slows the, the enemies there. Let's not see. There is a chance that the enemies are going to send 9, given that this guy is leaking, one, one from the west is leaking. So, in order not to break our momentum, it's best for us to do our best to keep moving. It, it doesn't look like they're very strong 10, so we have that going for us. And it might be that they, don't, they still don't have any king at this point. So let's hope that we can break them 10. Okay, for this round, I think I'm going to place extra front lines here. Three PVs would suffice, maybe two, because I need to get these guys upgraded. Cancel that. Now this time around, it's the cults who should do the tanking, as they are the ones who has uh, armor reduction against next round. Okay. Let's see if they send, and if they send, we are going to be very happy as I think that our king will be strong enough to hold against it. And if they don't, then let's hope we can win against them on a uh, race against them. Okay. So, militia are starting to spam it. Good. Yeah, this is not going to be a problem. This guy is decently pierced, although I, unfortunately I don't think this, that kind of build is going to hold. This guy has a lot of alpha males, which has decent range, so I think it can survive against them. This guy, on the other hand, has Tuscar Warriors, Helicopter, it should be strong against next round, getting Peewees. Okay, so this is our last chance to build. I don't think I will have enough to get everything that I want. Maybe placing some egg sacs would be fine for this round. Or maybe another cult. I actually am not sure. I actually am not sure. Oh, I still haven't upgraded this guy. 
let's get him as full as well it's not upgraded there are a lot of things to upgrade maybe going ice fall would be the best option here and unfortunately we're also not able to get uh, a captain okay sending now and it wouldn't be so bad to send Ballista. Okay, they do have 9,000 9, cent. Let's see how much we can pull against this. Okay. Almost clearing our, all of the bosses. It's mostly just going to be the demons left. Let's start offing our king. Looks like it's the same story for everyone else in our team. We look like we have sent more against the enemies. Now let's check their king. They they have 19 HP. I think that is giving us a little blip, a little hope. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to try and kill the low HP bosses. It's fine. They now have two. Hit two heals, they have one heal left, it looks like they are dying quicker than we are, are they? Are they? GG! Yeah, we have 17 HP, they did die a lot sooner. And so we won! <laughs> we won guys! I hope you enjoyed this content, and thank you for cheering on me. So, in, in, this, in this game, I guess the lesson here is to not oversend, and always set up precaution for your king because the 9k send wasn't very necessary they could have sent their around 7k and would still have made us leak and used the rest of their lumber to up their king but instead they went all in and that caused their loss so i hope you enjoyed this content i'll see you guys next time